Hey Tribe, hey, welcome back to my channel, Presence of the Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's just going to be a quick message for the tribe. So if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, share those you think it'll resonate too. I do appreciate you. Anything else you need to know, such as bookings and donations, it is down below in the description. And I'm saying you know, but love, peace, and blessings whenever you receive this message. This message is timeless. All my readings are timeless. So, yeah. Um, let's get into it. I hope you guys had a great evening, great night, great day. You know, all that good stuff. So, something about rambling. Somebody could be rambling or somebody could be talking to you. Somebody feels comfortable telling you all their business. I don't know what this is here. If this is you, be careful of telling all your business to people. Okay? Leave some type of mysterious mysteriousness. You could definitely be a Gemini. Um, I'm also getting like, yeah, something about friends. Maybe uh, you want to meet new friends that you feel like you're vibing with, okay? But I was also getting the energy um, Wajet. Like I said before in one of my previous videos, these last couple of days, Wajet, the goddess, is with you. So some of you guys, you had like a caregiver or babysitter here, okay, who was protecting you. It was an angel in disguise protecting you from harm, okay? They're on the other side protecting you as well. Um... Protection has been up. The Eye of Horus could be significant. Somebody could have been protecting you from an uncle because I'm channeling um, Seth. So somebody could have been protecting you from an uncle. The color red could be very significant. Or you could be a fire sign. Okay. Or you could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Somebody was a trickster spirit and you were being protected from this trickster spirit from a caregiver okay some of you guys could be doulas um or your next birth is going to be a home birth all right let's see what else we have the color green could be very significant you could be our earth sign towards capricorn virgo or you're getting your root chakra balance and it's bringing in material abundance and wisdom and knowledge and more protection all right you could be studying nature all right, or you get better downloads in nature. Um, you could be an herbalist or thinking about being an herbalist or going a holistic route when it comes to the way of living. Some of you guys could be thinking about becoming minimalist or you're detaching from some type of um, obsession with materialism. All right. Yeah, because I have a wake-up call here. You could be having a wake-up call on what you truly need. Everything is extra. And there's nothing wrong with one extra. But maybe that's not your... I don't know. Maybe... What is this? Yeah, game night. Live together. Maybe you just want, like, a family or something. Are you realizing family is more important? Somebody wants to live with you. Okay? Somebody wants to have fun with you. So, for some of you guys, this could be, like, a lover. You guys could be, like... I don't know. You may meet a friend that may turn into your lover. Okay, and you want to end up living together because you guys want to have so much fun. Angel number 323. Yeah, a lot of laughter. You don't realize that maybe I like you more than just a friend. Okay, for some of you guys, this is a friend who wants to be more than just a friend. You guys have a lot of good times together. Right? It's like somebody feel like you take away the burden. Okay, maybe they work a lot. Okay, you make them see something from a different perspective, like, hmm, things can be easier in my life if I surrender. So you could be a spiritualist or you could like, you give good advice because you're very grounded, root chakra, yeah. You're very grounded, so you give good advice here. Somebody's also, you have friends or people that watch you, they're inspired by how grounded you are. Maybe because they're used to like unhinged people but you're an example of what healing looks like, okay? Or what it can look like if you do the work. Yeah, a group of people are watching you. Yeah, you, you see beyond the physical, all right? True beauty is the eye of the beholder. Or you look past skin. Maybe somebody could have been calling you like a bigot or something and you're not. You don't judge people by the way they look. You judge them by their character. Okay? Somebody 
somebody feel like you would not like them more than just friends because you're not attracted to them but that's not true or you could be looking at somebody that you once wasn't attracted to but now that you tap more into yourself you're like maybe i do find you attractive or you're being more open-minded about the type of people you're dating you're not just sticking to one person like you used to so i really feel like you, the more you tap into your spiritual self your spiritual side it's more you realize like everything is skin deep it's beyond the skin okay maybe you grew up around people who always like competing with color like colorism could be significant colorist um and maybe like you're not like that you know so and maybe uh i don't know or maybe somebody else is going through this you some of you guys are about to be in a biracial relationship okay yeah knowledge and wisdom the more you gain knowledge the more you tap into your soul you're attracting different souls so you could have been like attracting a lot of karmics because you still had healing to do and now you're attracting people from your soul tribe or genuine connections and they may not look like you they may not be black they may not be white you know whatever color you are they may be an opposite race from you a different ethnicity but their soul gives you full, like, they're full of joy, okay? You, you enjoy being around this person, or you will enjoy being around this person. You guys are going to get lost together or something like that, or I don't know. I really feel like time is going to fly because you're having fun with this person. It could be unexpectedly a friendship or a lover, and it's like, maybe this is not the type of person you would hang out with in your past, Okay. Let's see what else we have. And then I'm going to finish up. Maybe this is just the message you need to know. You're getting a wake-up call. That I also feel like you're getting a wake-up call on what you truly want. Okay? Maybe what you thought you want, you don't want when it comes to materialism. Maybe you wanted a big house. Now you're like, oh, I'm okay with a nice, you know, cottage or something. Like, I'm really getting or You thought you wanted a extravagant car. And you're like, oh, I'm okay with a Honda. Like... I don't know like it's something like that and I don't feel like it's because you think you're not going to be able to get a knife I just feel like maybe you just don't care for those things like as long as it's reliable as long as it's nice and clean you know I feel like this is the energy maybe something happened where you're just like you're okay with just living a quiet quaint life or not being extravagant maybe because your intentions was to show it off to people and you're like i don't i don't want to impress nobody i also feel like you could be around people or you're about to be around people where you don't have to impress them they like you for you and you like them for them okay somebody about to get married yeah you learned a karmic lesson okay can you tell me more i also feel like you're being broken away from karmics like you're gonna start attracting genuine things all right your, your, what is it? I'm <laughs> sorry, spirit. Secret. Divine masculine has a secret crush on you, and they're about to let you know. Yeah, because you freed yourself from a reckless lover. This could have been somebody. So this reckless lover could have been somebody you have children with, because I do have family, or your family could have got y'all together, but they were a karmic. But maybe like you felt like you had to stay with this person. Um, you could have been like on and off with this person but now you're realizing like i don't want that you realize that it wasn't love it was lust right so you're one you're running away from other people's projections maybe because you thought somebody was the one for you but y'all was just trauma bonding you're you broke free from that you're like mm, i thought i wanted you but i don't want you i'm not that interested in you so maybe you're making a decision to not be with somebody you're like i thought i wanted you but i don't yeah you're blocking somebody out of your life yeah because it's too much tension and that's what i'm getting as well is like when you meet this new person it's not going to be tension it's going to be full of laughter so it's a big difference between this new person and this past person who only gave you a headache okay and people like to normalize oh you have to go through a lot of big things to... no you don't you don't have to suffer they make you feel that way because Listen, that advice comes from the 50s and 40s where women didn't even have a say-so, okay? Women didn't even have any rights. No, <laughs> black people didn't even have any rights. So, you know, that's you got to stick it out because, you know, no. Mm -mm. They even said back in the day, um, the husband would S.A. the wife. And it wouldn't even be considered S.A. even, though, even if the wife don't, don't even want to do it. Okay, maybe some of you guys went through that. Like, you didn't really want to do it. You could have been essayed. 
you told this person stop and they kept on going but you thought it was okay because you um you were dating this person but it's, it wasn't okay it wasn't so let me get you some letters and we're good to go i'm actually gonna shuffle one more card <sighs> Companion, you're about to meet your companion, and everything you touch is going to glitter. All right? Everywhere you go, glitters. Yeah, taking a chance with someone. Somebody wants to take a chance with you. Somebody wants to be with you. You slay some type of dragon or some type of karmic cycle, okay? Because all these karmas kept coming towards you with this, this negative energy. And, yeah, because I have side-by-side -side with a true companion nor cha no challenge is too great find your battle companion you're about to um find your person is like us against the world type energy and you guys are going to go to the next chapter together slaying slaying okay you slay <laughs> like i said everywhere you go you glitter so you get a lot of attention you're very attractive um this person wants to show you off i'm channeling russ russ wilson so you about to get your Russ Wilson. Somebody could be from the bo box, from the box, <laughs> from the Bronx, okay? Somebody could be a tax uh, preparer, okay? Somebody name could be Terry, Terry. I'm also getting Berea's could be significant, all right? Something about, um, this letter E keeps coming out. Somebody watches me that has letter E. Something about the ER. Something about you're correcting your errors or you're righting your wrongs, okay? Um, that's why this new love is coming in. Somebody's trying to terrorize you. <laughs> like, what? This karmic is trying to terrorize you. Like, you have to suffer in order to love me. Like, I don't, love, it should, should not feel like suffering, Okay? <laughs> yeah terrorize you could have just gotten out of a scary relationship okay something about um tori somebody could be tori or tori lanes could be significant for some of you guys somebody could be tori something about vermont somebody could be from vermont somebody was trying to treat you like a toy you could live in a high area. You could be seeing owls or your wisdom is magnificent. So you, you're you receiving a lot of wisdom. Somebody could have got their tooth pulled out. Somebody could be Eve. Or you have eaten an apple and awakened to your full self. All right, that's why you're receiving a new soulmate. Something about a car. You better get a new car. It could be a reverend, all right, or a pastor. Somebody could be Beverly. Somebody could be Bree. Somebody's doing breathing, um, breathing techniques. Somebody uh, revert back to their old ways. This is why you guys can't be together because they're not ready to change. Revolt. Somebody refused to change. I'm also getting you're a rebellion. This is why this new love is coming in because you guys, y'all both are rebellions. Your ex does not want to change. I don't know what I keep saying. Your ex is still acting like a boy. All right. Or you could date studs. Something about um, berries. Maybe eating fruits and berries. Burl. Burl hurricane could be significant. Maybe you experienced that. Somebody could be Barry. Um, Thor. Thor. So somebody coming in to be your Thor. <laughs> somebody was a thorn in your ass. Okay. But somebody's coming in to be your, your, your provider, your protector, your strong man. Protect you, you know. <laughs> um, I think I'm done. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, somebody about to get a Range Rover. Somebody's like trying to hover over you. Okay. Somebody has like a hover, like a rope. What is that little thing you drive? The little scooter thing? Hoverboard. I'm also getting like, uh, somebody trying to slide in your DMs. <laughs> or you have a lot of people sliding in your DM. I'm also getting somebody was too preachy. Like, somebody could be a Sagittarius where they were like too preachy to you. Like, Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that to be with me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so somebody's very traditional though. So somebody could be a Capricorn. Somebody was very traditional or Taurus. Like they were stuck in their old ways. And it's like, well, me and my parents was in a relationship. They did it like this. And it's like, this is the new age of Aquarius. Chill. All right. So you're going on a new paradigm with a new soulmate because somebody refused to exit the, the matrix. 
<laughs> so this new person is coming in. They're going to be very attractive because he look like Thor a little bit. So somebody could be like, ooh, like, a little thick. <laughs> Some of you guys, this could be a white tea man. Like, you could be black and about to date a white tea man. Isn't that in the comic books where he dated a white tea man? Or was that somebody else? I don't know. But somebody better be in a biracial relationship. Love you guys.